Are you a freelancer or running an online business? Finding clients on Upwork is one of the fastest and most effective ways to make money, but here's the challenge. How can you be among the very first to discover jobs that match your skills? Because if you're early, you can send an icebreaker and a proposal before most freelancers even notice the posting. Now usually people scrape Upwork jobs using paid APIs, like the ones you'll find on platforms such as Appify. Developers build scrapers, lock them behind a subscription, and some of them make thousands of dollars per month this way. But what if we flip the script? What if we could create our own Upwork Scraper API? One that's free, unlimited, and doesn't rely on paying for someone else's subscription. And even better, what if you could publish your own Scraper as an API and earn money from it too? That's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. We'll walk step-by-step step through building a fully functional Upwork Scraper API without paying a dime. Now, if you've used web automation frameworks like Puppeteer before, you might think, why not just spin up Puppeteer and scrape directly? Well, here's the problem. The default Puppeteer browser gets flagged by Cloudflare. And when that happens, you'll just end up stuck on a detection page. If you check the Inspector Network tab, you'll see it right there. Cloudflare rejects the request because it detects the browser as a bot. So how do we get around this? We need a more advanced approach. That's why we coded a complete solution. One that bypasses Cloudflare's detection, scrapes the newest job listings from any Upwork URL, and runs automatically inside N8N for full automation. This workflow works just like the paid APIs, but with one big difference. It's completely customizable. You can tailor the scraper to handle any case you need. And here's where it gets even better. We can take the scraped job data, feed it into an LLM like ChatGPT or Gemini, and let the AI filter only the jobs that fit your predefined requirements. Not only that, the LLM can explain why each job is a good fit, write a personalized icebreaker, and even draft a proposal for you. Finally, all of this gets saved into a Google Sheet for organized tracking, and you'll receive a Telegram notification whenever a new opportunity arrives. All right, without waiting any longer, let's jump into your code editor and spin up a brand new project. First things first, make sure you have Node.js installed on your computer. If you don't, you'll find a link to the official Node.js website in the video description. Once Node.js is installed, we can start a new project right away using this command. This will generate a fresh file called package.json. Think of package.json as the control center of your project. It stores all your installed packages and the scripts you'll use to run your code. Now to handle browser automation and bypass Cloudflare detection, we'll use a special library called Puppeteer Real Browser. So let's go ahead and install it. Next, create a new file. Let's call it scraper.js. And this is where we'll start writing our scraping code. I've already prepared some boilerplate code for you. So let's clean it up a bit and walk through it step by step. First, we create an instance of Puppeteer Real Browser. Then we configure it so it behaves exactly like a real Chrome browser. Once that's set up, the script opens a new browser window. From there, we define a function that navigates to a specific page and patiently waits until Cloudflare detection has been bypassed. This function also calls a few helper utilities, like a delay function and a checker function that confirms Cloudflare has been cleared. Next, we add a find job elements function. This scans the page and identifies all the job listings currently visible. That function is then used inside our main scrape jobs function. The scraper will loop through each job, dive into the details, and return all the structured information we need. Finally, once the job data is collected, we close the browser. That's the core functionality, but to actually make this scraper usable, we need to wrap it inside an API. So let's create another file called server.js. In this file, we'll write a simple API server. This server connects to our scraper function and creates an endpoint for clients to call. Here's how it works. The client provides an Upwork search URL as input. Our scraper then launches a browser, navigates to that URL, bypasses Cloudflare, and scrapes the newest job listings automatically. Before testing, let's make one quick adjustment. In the scraper file, set headless mode to false. That way we can visually see the browser in action. Later, when we move to production, we'll switch it back to true, so the browser runs in the background, saving memory and improving speed. Now let's run the server file. This starts our API and begins listening for requests at localhost 3000. To test it, we'll use Postman or any request testing tool you prefer. Send a post request to localhost 3000 slash scrape. In the request body, include a JSON object with the Upwork URL you want to scrape. Let's try it out. You'll notice the browser automatically bypasses Cloudflare, navigates to the page, and scrapes the jobs just like a real user. In the console, you'll see the scraper grabbing job data very quickly, 
and once it's done, the API returns the structured results. By default, each Upwork search page shows 10 jobs, so our API will return 10 listings per request. Now this works perfectly on your local machine, but what if we want to make it accessible online? So tools like N8N, or even other users can connect to it. The easiest free way is with Ngrok. If you haven't installed Ngrok yet, head over to the official website and follow the instructions. Once installed and authenticated with your account, you can run a simple command, Ngrok, HTTP, and port number. This tells Ngrok to point to your local API running on a specific port. Ngrok will then generate a public URL, a link that anyone can access from anywhere. Just remember, Ngrok must stay running for the URL to work, and every time you restart it, you'll get a new public link. Copy that URL and paste it into your N8N workflow. In the HTTP request node, simply use this endpoint to scrape jobs from any Upwork search page. Before running the workflow, let's switch headless mode back to true, so the browser runs invisibly, optimizing memory and speed. Now restart the server to apply changes. Finally, let's run the workflow. Here I've set it to scrape every 90 minutes, but you can customize the schedule to whatever you like. As you can see, the scraper pulls all the latest jobs from Upwork automatically, returns the structured job list, and makes it available for the next step in your automation pipeline. Next, we connect a Google Sheet node to pull all the jobs we've already saved before. Notice that every job comes with a unique job ID. This ID is what we'll use to detect duplicates. Here's how it works. All the jobs scraped from the Upwork URL get compared against the jobs in our sheet. If the job ID already exists, we filter it out. If it's new, we keep it. For example, our scraper just returned 10 jobs, but since two of them were already saved before, we only have eight brand new jobs left. And those eight new jobs are the ones we'll pass into our AI agent node. Inside the agent node, we provide both a user prompt and a system prompt. In the user prompt, we include all the scraped job data at once. This way, we don't need to make multiple LLM API calls. We tell the AI to evaluate each job. If it matches our requirements, the result field should be true, if it doesn't fit, the result field should be false. We also ask the LLM to explain its reasoning in a reason field, so we know why a job was accepted or rejected. And if the job is a good fit, the AI also generates a personalized icebreaker and a ready-to-send proposal. The system prompt, on the other hand, clearly defines the filtering rules. Here we're using Gemini as the LLM because it's free. Just make sure you insert your own credentials. To guide the AI output, we provide an example JSON format. This ensures the LLM responds in structured JSON every time. Once we have the response, we pass it into a split out node. This converts the single JSON array into a list of individual job items, allowing us to process multiple jobs in parallel. But remember, we only want the jobs marked as a good fit. So we add an if node to filter out all results where the field is false. In this case, from eight scraped jobs, only three are marked as a match for our requirements. Those three jobs are then appended to our Google Sheet node. The sheet columns are aligned with the job object fields returned by our workflow. So everything saves cleanly in a structured format. Last time we ran the workflow, the sheet had 18 jobs. After appending the three new ones, it now shows 21 total. This confirms the scraper and workflow are working perfectly. Now to keep us updated in real time, we add a function node to clean up the job JSON into a short text message. That message is then passed to our Telegram node. Here's one important detail. Make sure the parse mode is set to Markdown v2 and disable N8N attribution for a cleaner user experience. Once everything's configured, the Telegram bot sends us exactly the new jobs we need. Notice that we don't include the full proposals here because Telegram has message length limits. But you can easily modify the function node to customize what gets sent. Now here's a pro tip for taking this workflow even further. If you're logged into your Upwork account, the job detail pages reveal even more valuable information. Things like the client's recent hiring history, which can be extremely useful for filtering. We've already developed code that leverages cached user credentials via cookies. With this, the scraper can access detailed job pages, including all the client insights we just mentioned. We're gonna dive deeper into this feature in another video. But for now, let's quickly see how it works in action. The input is simple. We provide an Upwork URL we want to scrape, along with a cookie value that stores the logged in user information. Then we hit send, and just like before, 
the scraper runs smoothly. But this time, because we're logged in, we also get access to richer client information directly from the listings. Now the API doesn't just return basic job details, it also includes additional engagement data about the clients. This gives us an even clearer picture of which jobs are worth pursuing. And that opens up even more advanced possibilities for your AI agent. Awesome. And that's how you can build your own Upwork scraper, filter jobs with AI, and fully automate the entire client hunting process. You can follow along with the video, type out the code, and build the workflow step by step, or if you want to save time, you can join our premium community, where all the code and ready to use templates are available inside the lessons. Now, if you're interested in private tools like this, you'll love what we're building inside the Zero Two Launch Premium Community. It's where we help members build, launch, and scale automation projects from the ground up, all at no cost. Inside, you'll get access to free and unlimited APIs that would normally cost you thousands for unlimited usage. And when you scale up, they'll save you millions. Plus, we're rolling out an all-in-one AI web app so you can use these AI tools, automation features, and more. Right away, no setup required. For example, we already have all-in-one YouTube tools, we even developed a tool for generating NSFW image content, and we've built the Zero Two Launch AI Toolkit, packed with every AI tool and feature you need in one place. If you're ready to level up, join us in Zero Two Launch Premium and start turning automation into your competitive advantage.